I got to work on the Mark 43, but what did I do with those blueprints? Master. The plans. Good, Igor. Have a treat. Yum. Sprinkles. Master, what are we doing tonight? The same thing we do every night, Igor. Try to save the world. <laughs> Can I have another donut? No! Feeling blue and need something big? Then get your Hot Toys Igor figure at BigBadToyStore.com. Link is in the description. Oh, big kids. It's time for your... What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Iron Man 3 Hot Toys Mark 38 Igor Movie Masterpiece 160 collectible figure. If you want to buy your own Igor, you can get yours at BigBadToyStore.com. Link is in the description or at Sideshow Collectibles. Now this box is huge. This is 20 inches tall to over 16 inches long. And it has a beautiful picture of Igor looking very uh, Hulk Buster-ish, but he's not. It says Iron Man 3 Mark 38 Igor 1-6 scale collectible figure MMS215. Beautiful picture. I love the background right there. A Hot Toys movie masterpiece. Sides of the box continues that same honeycomb design. It says Iron Man 3. While the other side continues that same picture from the front with his arm right there. It says Iron Man 3 Igor. Top and bottom of the box says Marvel Iron Man 3. Back of the box continues that same honeycomb design. It has a big old warning label as well as the cast and crew that made this massive figure. Warning, don't choke on your Igor. He will break your mouth while holding you on his back. The inside of the box is held together with styrofoam. So let's take out this massive figure. Bigger, or let's hope we got the Iron Man 3 Hot Toys Mark 38 Igor 1 6 scale collectible figure. This guy is huge. Holy crap. Let's take a closer look at him. Now, Hot Toys has made one big badass figure. I absolutely love this thing. The paint apps on here is just gorgeous. Igor's head is huge. This is the heavy lifting suit. He was mostly only in the movie for like a minute just to hold up that structure which probably fell down as soon as they blew up everyone. Definitely has a very Igor look. You know he's kind of like a very hunchback looking guy but I love all the amount of detail. He has one big back. This thing looks really awesome and he has the big hunchback things that uh, these actually pop up which I'll show here in a bit but yeah the gears and engineering are just absolutely amazing on here big old shoulder pads holy crap love that detail uh, even on the top of his head and you can kind of see it in his neck what I love about him he's covered in a bunch of caution and warning signs arc reactor is huge as you can see here too I like the weathering effect he's not completely clean but he's not completely battle damaged he has big old elbows too which I absolutely love elbows are like freaking sockets I swear and a spine oh my god Baby got back. <laughs> wow. And I love the detail around there with uh, his like rib spinal side area. It's just freaking cool. Emergency right there. Services provided. <laughs> his arms have an amazing amount of detail. It says U.S. Army. I don't know if Tony was originally going to use this to help the U.S. Army for building things or yeah I love the stripes how they're weathered right there I love the paint detail in his like wrist armor oh this thing is heavy by the way this thing is probably around 12 13 pounds his hands are huge and he has a repulsor light which I'll show here and you can see this is actually where the battery uh, will be he has more danger and warning labels on each side he has even more on the other side I really feel like I'm handling a small baby that's how freaking big this guy is I love the detail that like these little parts like are spring loaded for his I guess ribs the underneath part I love his shoulder joints right there look amazing the detail on his thigh armor like all the stripes and the weathering it's really amazing paint apps on Hot Toys part. His hip armor looks really awesome. It really looks like it has some die cast parts in there. But yeah, he doesn't have any die cast because he'd be way too heavy. And his is big old Igor butt. It's a really big butt. It's like Kim Kardashian butt. Big old knees, which are nice and spring loaded. The detail with his feet. Toe articulation, which I'll get to. But feet, I wish actually were a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger because he sets a big figure and yeah you just don't want to him to fall over but he stands really good you just have to get him in the right pose igor has light up features in his head his arc reactor and his repulsors he does take watch batteries he comes with a total of 12 that's three for the head the arc reactor and each of the uh, repulsors you have to install them and all of them which kind of sucks but you know it's totally worth it so you remove the top of his head right here the switch is right here so you switch it on igor's eyes which are really bright then his arc reactor is really easy his chest 
this plate is held together with magnets, which I really like. And then the switch is right here, so you just switch it on. Arc reactor, which is big and bright. Now his repulsor lights, I'll be honest, are a little tricky to get to. They're this little blue part right here of his hand. You have to remove them, but because of the arm guard, they make it a little tricky. They're not as tricky the second time you open them, so you have to remove them like this. Then you see there's a little switch right here. You can see a big, bright, white light. Igor with all his lights on in low lit settings, very bright. It looks like I'm about to get a hug from a big blue baby. Now for articulation, Igor has quite a bit. His head can look up that much, can look down a lot, and it can move side to side this much. You actually, in the instructions, can pull his head out a little bit more to look down even more, look up a lot more, and they actually move his head side to side a lot more, which is great. And he has kind of like a neck pivot there, so a lot more range of motion, which I like. It makes his head go out a little more though. His arms can rotate a full 360, just be very careful. Can go out about 60 degrees, you can see right here. And then the shoulder uh, pads are on these spring-loaded joints right here. You can rotate the bicep out 45 degrees and inward about 20 degrees. He does bend at the elbow. He, only, he has nice ratchety joints, but it only bends about 70 degrees, so because of how he's made. And his wrists do rotate. Uh, they can't fully rotate because of the way it's positioned, but it can go in and out too. And he has two joints in his thumb and three joints in his fingers, so he can do a fist or repulsive blast or do one big <laughs> bird if you want to. He does have an upper ab crunch. He can move forward that much up. He can move side to side, and you want to make sure that the spine things are like that before you do it and so yeah he go he can hunch forward a lot and go and pivot side to side he does rotate a little bit uh, side to side his legs can move forward about 40 degrees so not that much but he has nice rachi joints and they can go inward about 50 degrees so you want him to be very stable in this area because of how top heavy he is he can rotate a little bit on the upper part of the leg about 50 degrees his knees bend about 70 degrees right there on nice ratchet joints and you can see all these knee pads slide forward and back and his ankles do a pivot forward and back he does have an ankle pivot side to side these parts move and he has toe articulation that moves uh, 40 degrees Igor does have some additional articulation like we saw in the movie his little hunchback parts I guess you can actually pull up pull it and then you can and it will snap into place and you can see how cool it looks right there with that little detail on the back. Then he has some spine articulation. In the instructions, you have to lift this up to go one, two, three. So you pull this back, then you pull this back, then you pull this back. So it can like helps adjust his back right there. So that's pretty cool. And he does have articulation in his wrist to help uh, hold him up, give him some stability. You can see right there how it's just huge. I wish this part kind of moved out too, but it's help stabilizes it. And he calls to do the same for the other side. Igor doesn't come with any accessories. He just comes with an instruction manual on how to do his articulation, how to change the batteries, and a little caution about his spine. Holy hot toys. I made way too many armors. The structure is about to collapse on its own. Master, I got your back. Good, Igor, good. Master, how long should I stay here? Just stay there till I tell you to. You said you got my back, right? Yes. Good, Igor. Well, I'm gonna go get some swarm out. I'll see you later. Can I at least have another donut? No! Ah, uh, I'm blue. Dabba dee dabba duh. Size comparison time. So here you can see how huge Igor is. He ranges anywhere from 18 inches to 20 inches tall depending on how you pose him. He is way bigger than normal Iron Man figures like the Mark 42 right here. Even bigger than Peacemaker. Bigger he is than normal 6 inch figure like the Marvel Legends Mark 42. Here he is next to the Iron Monger. Igor is a little bit taller because I have his knees a little bit bent whereas the Iron Monger is standing up fully straight. Here we got him next to the Hot Toys Hulk. When Igor's uh, knees are bent. They're the same size, but if he was standing up fully straight, he'd be slightly taller than the Hulk. Hot Toys is really delivered on bringing us our biggest Iron Man figure yet until we get the Hulk Buster. This is a really awesome figure. Not only the sheer size of it, there's an amazing amount of detail, quite a bit of articulation. I love the light-up features and the little features in his spine lifter. It's just really cool. He is a little bit top-heavy, so you won't be able to do as many dynamic poses as you probably want, but you can still get some really amazing poses. He is 500 and 
$9.99, which will be a pretty penny, but for the sheer size of this guy, I can definitely understand why he would be that much. He does have a lot of fun factor in him, even though he was only in the movie for about a minute. But if you really want like a huge Iron Man figure to put in your Hall of Armor, this will definitely be for you. Or if you just want to do some cool poses with him versus your Hot Toys Hulk, this is definitely for you too. It won't be for the average Hot Toys fan, but for the Iron Man collector, this is definitely one to add to your armory and I highly recommend it. You can pick up this figure right now at BigBadToysStore.com, link is in the description, or if it's sold out at SideshowCollectibles.com. Check out more on my website at SeanXLong.com. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. I'm Sean Long, Mayor live long and love life. Hulk, can you give Igor back massage? Your hands are the only ones big enough to do the job. Sure, Hulk and back massage for donut Hulk hungry. Igor ate last donut. Oh, Hulk wanted sprinkles. We'll get shawarma instead. Igor will have revenge. We'll be back to bust Hulk's green ass. <laughs> Wait, there was one more donut. Oopsie. To listen to this. What is this? It's a great toy reviewer that reminds us that toys are hella sick and I need a hella whacking. I know who you are, Peter Quill, and I am not some starry-eyed waif here to succumb to your, your pelvic sorcery.